Shalom, it's Izzy, your Hebrew teacher here, and this is Hebrew Chapters with Holy Language Institute. Read with me through the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, in Hebrew. Now, as you know, this isn't the original text of the New Testament, even though this kind of Hebrew is called Biblical Hebrew, in contrast with Hebrew from other eras, like Mishnaic Hebrew, for instance, the language of the Mishnah, which was written down in the second century. This is a biblical Hebrew translated from the Greek texts of the New Testament into biblical Hebrew by Franz Delich in the 1800s. So we will begin in Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. This would uh, be a solid block of red letters if it was in... Uh, a traditional Christian version, but in the Jewish tradition, you don't write with red letters. But it is the words of our master, and for that reason, it's very exciting. He shamru. The verb there is shamal, and it literally means to guard. In this, in this sense, it means to to be careful, or to to you can you can understand that guard yourselves or be careful. We'll read it here. He so um, you you plural guard or t- be careful. Lachem um, for yourselves. May asot from doing the verb there is asa to do. Tzid katchem so your tzedaka the the verb there is tzedak and it means to act righteously. Uh, it can it, it can also have the sense used in the in a legal situation, if you are exonerated of crime, if you are declared innocent, if you are in the right, then you are tzaddik, you are you are righteous. Tzedaka is the state of being a tzaddik, righteousness, or it's also the actions of a tzaddik, righteous actions. In the course of time, the word tzedaka specifically came to be a reference to giving charity or alms, and that's how it's used here. So from doing your doing your righteousness, as you can see, it'll, it'll be talking specifically about giving charity arms and also doing some other things. So you can see how even in this chapter, it's used in both the broader and the narrower senses. <clears throat> Lifne, this is a preposition. Uh, your, your panim in Hebrew is literally your, your faces. Lifne means uh, to the faces of, meaning in front of or before. Bene, ben is son, bene, is sons of Adam, the first human being, Adam. So if you're talking about people in Hebrew, human beings, you call them idiomatically B'nai Adam, the sons of Adam, the sons of man. Lama'an, so that, Yeru, they will ra'a, they will see, see, etchem. Um, you, plural. Ve'im, and if lo, the negative, not. This is an expression. Ve'im lo. So, in, like if, and if um, if not, ain lachem. So there isn't to you. You don't have sechal. The verb there, sechal, means to pay someone their wages. So sechal or or reward. So you don't have a reward. May eight from with Avichem. Av is father. Avichem, your plural father. She ba shemaim. She who ba is in the shemaim, heavens, skies. Lachen, therefore, ba asot ha, in your assign, in your doing. Tzedaka, righteousness. All don't tariu sound lefanecha literally to your faces. In other words, uh, before you ba shofar with the shofar. You're probably familiar with the shofar, an animal horn, trumpet. Kamase. So the verb here again is asa to do kamase like the deeds of hachanefim the hypocrites, as we would read that in English. Bevate. Now, here here we have the Hebrew word for the synagogue, and it's actually two words. 
Uh, a bait in Hebrew is a house or building. Bate is a houses of or buildings of. And then here we have haknesiot. So this is in the plural. This is a bit of a mouthful. You're probably familiar with the Knesset in Israel. Israeli uh, ruling body. And where they meet. So here we have, here we have, um, and basically that's from the, the verb kanas, which just means to, to enter and gather. So when you, when in Hebrew, if you want to talk about like a, a meeting place, a house of gathering, you talk about the bait, the house of hakneset, the bait kneset in the singular, and that's a synagogue. Here we have the plural, bevate hakneset, uva ochovot. Uh, Rechav in, in Hebrew is the verb to be broad or wide. Came to also be the word for a, a street, Rechov. So here we have Uva Rechovot. And in the streets, Lama'an, so that Yi Halalu. The verb there is Halal and it means to praise. It's related actually to the Hebrew word to shine. Um, that's a, the concrete un, the meaning behind the word to praise. So Yi Halalu, so that they will, be, they will praise Otan, them. Ha Anashim. Ish is a man. Anashim are men. So the men will praise them. Amen, or Amen as we often say, or Amen as we say in English. It's one of those Hebrew words that went viral. Everybody knows it. Omel, I say. An, uh, omel, say literally, saying. Ani, I. Lachem, to you, plural. That's one of those phrases that you can't render word by word in the same order when you translate. It just doesn't work that way. Ki, that lakhu, verb lakach, to take, lakhu, they have taken at scharam, uh, their sechal, their wages or reward. Va'ata, and you, ba'asotcha, in your assign, you're doing tzedaka, righteousness. All, don't, teda. Verb yada is to know, so all teda um, isn't to know. Smolcha, small is left, the left side, so smolcha, your left hand. Et ashel, what osa is doing. Yaminecha, your yamin, your right, in other words, your right hand. Uh, you'll recognize this word from the name Benjamin, which in Hebrew is bin yamin, son of the right hand. Lema'an, so that, teya, it will be, tzidkatcha, your, so your, your tzedakah, your righteousness, basatel, verb satal means to, to hide or conceal something as a secret, so, basically that just means in secret or in private. V'avicha, and your av, your father, harowe, the verb ra'a is to see, so harowe, the one who sees, seeing, Ba mistarim. Now, here's another form with that same verb behind it. Setal. To hide or conceal as a, as, as a secret or um, in private. So here we have it in the, in, in the, in the plural. Mistarim. So what he sees in secret or in private. What is interesting about this word and maybe how you can better remember it. Mistarim sounds like the English word mystery. And in fact, conceptually, they're related too. A mystery is something, it's a secret. It is something that has been hidden or concealed. So, mistarim in Hebrew, mystery in English, is a little peg you can use in your mind to remember that. Who, he, bagalui. That means um, in, in the open or um, when you're exposed in public. <laughs> okay, the word exposed, I guess, has a negative connotation sometimes in English. But I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, he in public, yig malacha. The verb there is gamal, and it means to to reimburse someone, basically to compensate them, to to benefit them. Vehi, and when, tit palal. Um, the verb there is uh, palal, and it's usually it has the sense of praying, but it also has the sense of in it has the sense either of judging and weighing something. Or it has the sense of hoping and desiring. So it it's, it's kind of has a combination of those concrete meanings in Hebrew. So anyway, v'chi tit palal, when you pray, all tehi, so don't be or don't become, kachanefim, 
like the hypocrites. Thanks for watching this trailer. To get this whole talk in audio or video format, go to holylanguage.com and subscribe. I'll see you there.